I've been playing Minecraft for over 10 years and it still surprises me and I learn things every single time I play. Here is what I've recently found out about Minecraft. I was recently taught about this super fast speed trick where you can run so fast! Wow! It's amazing. And don't worry, I'm going to explain exactly what just happened. So here's what you need. An elytra, a pair of boots with Depth Strider 3 and Soul Speed 3, and dolphins. And with a setup like this, you too can go the speed of light. You put a dolphin above soul sand to keep it alive, and then water on top of slabs, and all you gotta do is activate your elytra, hold down control, and get dolphin's grace, and off you go! <laughs> of course, it does run out after seven seconds. However, if you top up this system with regular dolphins, you can make this last pretty indefinitely. And if you don't want to run, you can always remove these and just get stuck in swim mode and you can go so fast. Yep, I hit, I hit the end of the road. You could technically go indefinitely. Thank you to Etho for teaching me this one. And here's a very funny clip of the very first time Etho showed me this trick and just how excited I was. <laughs> <laughs> You need, uh, <laughs> you, just, you just need Death Strider. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, what do you do? I think you got it. And then you... <laughs> <laughs> I made the best noises there. I, I, I'm i disappointed, Cub, in your, your R2-D2 game. Scar, I'm excited. That's what it is. Yeah, you sounded just like R2-D2. Now, this next one, I haven't even tested. I don't know if this is true. So this is part myth busting, part I found this out. So apparently, for some reason, turtles drop a very weird thing when they're killed by lightning. So if I summon some lightning bolts, nothing. Apparently, you've really got to try a few times to make this work. I've just, I would just embarrass myself by thinking that this doesn't work. But maybe, just maybe, there it is! Why is this a feature? This is made of wood. It says, oh no, it doesn't say wooden bowl. It just says bowl. So one, either your shell is meant to be made of wood or one of you guys has been eating some mushroom stew. This is a real feature, by the way. This is working as intended. This blew my mind when I was taught this. As you can tell, a conversation with Etho unravels a whole bunch of Minecraft weirdness, including redstone ore, which if you can get some XP to sit on top of, as you can see, creates an incredible amount, oh my goodness, of animation particles. Now, for some reason, the XP activates the redstone ores effect multiple times over and over again, and this increases with the amount of XP that you throw. So use this knowledge very carefully, because I believe you could probably make a client very, very laggy. Of course, the XP won't last forever, and oh man, it looks like it's on fire, but as soon as it comes off, the effect is lost. It's been a feature for a while now that you can crawl into a one high space. Hi there. And it's also well known that you cannot go into a half a block high space, even if I tried to crawl in this way. However, there are a few tricks that can be employed. For some reason, you can fly in between two beds, so technically this sort of bunk bed is possible, but it is actually possible to squeeze into a half a block space by using snow blocks. By flying in here, you can crawl in a half a block space. However, I cannot go any further. It only works with snow blocks, but as you can see, it's on exactly the same level. This just looks so weird. This might be useful for hiding your base. Speaking of snow, using leather boots and a couple of powder snow buckets, you're actually able to do something quite strange. You can scaffold 
in the air with no trace whatsoever using powdered snow because of your ability to pick it up with a snow bucket. The practical use of this is questionable, but you could use this as a clean way to get up to your builds without creating much mess, because when you're done, you can just fall to your death. I recently learned that you can die in the most ridiculous kinds of ways, and this one tops the list of things I definitely did not know. All you need is a chest plate that has thorns on it. And as a lot of us already know, if you punch something wearing thorns, it hurts you back. But did you know you can put this armor on villagers? And if you punch them, <laughs> you can die. Green was killed trying to hurt a villager. As you might guess by the fact that there's an alley up there, you can also do the same with them. Why can't I hurt you? So apparently I can only punch an alley when it's not holding something. As soon as I give it the armor, I can no longer hurt it. Now I don't know a lot about alleys, but I have just learned that this second, but that wasn't meant to be what was in the video. Hold on, I need to test something. I'm on a second account. Look how pretty I am. And I'm wondering if I can, yeah. You can do that. So it turns out, as long as someone else gives the alley the thorns item, then it works. Now, probably the most embarrassing thing that you could ever die to, I think, in this game is an inanimate object like the armor stand. Uh, look at that! Grian was killed trying to hurt armor stand. I think I deserve that. Shouldn't be punching armor stands. Incredible. I feel like this next technique might be something that every single person knows except me. Here is an ocean monument where you can get sponges. Now, normally you need to break through or go and swim in and try and get it with some milk. But Etho told me you can do it with just TNT and it doesn't matter if you have mining fatigue because all you got to do is light the TNT, break some string underneath, and it actually damages underneath the water. The TNT sits inside, oh, oh no. We'll try this again. The TNT sits inside the sand and not only does damage, but also breaks the blocks. So repeat this over and over again and you can get yourself access to that all important sponge. Another thing that you may not know and I recently found out is that there was an entirely unused potion called Potion of Luck. It looked like this, and if you drink it, it gives you green particles and gives you this lovely lucky symbol. This was never formally added to the game, hence why we needed a command, but what it's supposed to do is increase your luck in chests, although that doesn't seem to work at all based on this. In fact, I'd say it's almost the opposite, but still, it's something I learned. Now, I don't want to pretend that I'm an expert in Minecraft rabbits, but I did recently find out that there is a killer bunny that looks like... Yeah, it's even named the killer bunny. I'm in creative mode, so it can't hurt me. But if I go into survival... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's... He even made a noise. Oh, no, no, no! And something else I'd learn is that you can rename bunnies to toast to change the way that they look. But of course, if you, re if you rename the killer bunny, he still goes for you. I really wish that this was in vanilla Minecraft. Many of us may have actually seen a flying squid in their time in Minecraft, but I've just learned why, and it's been a conundrum for quite some time. Now, squids are one of the few mobs that actually ignore the effects of a bubble column where it pushes you to the top, like so. You see, they don't get pushed up. However, if we step out, the game still thinks that they're flying, and eventually, we start seeing something very strange. There's definitely some miscommunication between the game's code and what we actually end up seeing. Is there something you can teach me in Minecraft? Go into the comments and leave your obscure Minecraft facts, and if you feel like it, subscribe!